Welcome back to Health Class. I'm Mrs. Howard, and today we are going to still be talking about emotions, okay? So yesterday, you guys watched a little video clip, and we had a little discussion about emotions and the healthy and the unhealthy way to express those emotions. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit more about emotions. So I want you guys to brainstorm and go ahead and post in the chat so I can see what are some emotions that you remember from yesterday? Okay, Krista, I see you said sad. Very good. Sad. Jake. Happy. Good. The polar opposites of each other. All right. Any more emotions that you guys remember? Okay, disgust. Very good. That was in the video, too. Disgust. Good. And let's get one more. Angry, very good, Alisa. Angry, good. So these are four different emotions, okay? And there's so many emotions, there's an array of emotions. But you guys can see that from our video yesterday and from what we talked about, that these emotions can all be expressed in a good way and in a negative way, okay? So if you're sad, let's see. How would you express that in a healthy way? So, okay. So, if you're sad, how would you express being sad in a positive way? Okay, so this is sad. You guys recognize the sad face. Very basic sad face, but this is sad. And to positively express sad, we might weep. You know, we might weep or cry. And that's okay. That's a natural emotion, okay? So if we're sad, we might weep or cry. Those are positive ways. We might also talk to someone. So go ahead and write in the chat a person you would talk to if you're sad, okay? And this person is going to be our support system. So who would you talk to? Krista, okay, go ahead, Krista. Let's see, what did you write in there? You wrote that you would talk to your mom, okay? So we can talk to a parent, mom, Jonathan, a dad, you said. Good, you talked to your dad. Who else? Who could you talk to at school to look to if you were sad? Who could you talk to at school? Alyssa, you said a counselor. Good, so you can actually talk to your school counselor. Who else could we talk to if we're sad? Marissa, you said teacher. So yeah, you can talk to your teacher. You guys can talk to me or any one of your other teachers and we can help get you the resources that you need, okay? And let's see, who else? What else did you guys say? Yeah, you can talk to your school psychologist, good. So there's an array of people that we can go to when we are sad, all right? So you don't have to hold those emotions up inside in a negative way, all right? So let's now discuss how can we address being angry? So how are we going to express this anger? Let's see, anger, let's see, really big eyes. Okay, show that it's different than our sad face, so angry. What are some ways that you can express being angry? in a positive manner, okay? So what are some ways we can express being angry? Okay. Layla, you said that you can express your anger by saying you're angry, good. So we can actually tell people, I'm upset. Good. So let's just piggyback off of this for a second. If you're upset with someone, how can you tell them 
in a positive way that you are angry with them, okay? So how are we going to tell them? Okay, Krista, you, let me look at what you said. Okay, you said you could just go up to them with a smile, okay? So go up to person with a smile and tell them why you're upset, good. why we are upset. Great. So how can we do that negatively? How could we in an unhealthy way express our anger, express that we're angry, okay? How could we do that? Just take a moment. Let's see. I'm going to write a few things in. So these are the healthy ways. did not have this written down, go ahead and take a screenshot, okay, so that you can look at it later, and I'm going to erase, all right, so take a moment, take a screenshot, you did not have that written down already, and then I'm going to go ahead and erase, okay, so you guys can write that down later, this will all be up in your Google Classroom as well, okay, this whole lesson, so that you can look back. when I write this stuff down, how are you going to be able to talk to someone when you're angry with them and it goes bad? Like, what's a negative, unhealthy way to do that? Go ahead and think, write those thoughts in the chat and I will look at them in a moment. your anger so that would definitely be an unhealthy way that can harm you as well as that person that you extended that violence to so that's definitely an unhealthy way what's another unhealthy way screaming okay we're both screaming Krista 
screaming good. So screaming is also unhealthy. If we're screaming and yelling at people, that is going to be an unhealthy way. And we don't want to scream at other people. We want to be able to use our words and talk to someone in an intelligible way that they will respect us enough to listen to what we're saying, okay? So it's very important that you guys are going to actually use your words when you're talking to people. And that goes for sad and angry, as well as when you're disgusted, when you're happy, when you're feeling any emotion, we want to be able to express our emotions in a healthy manner in which people can actually understand us and understand what we're going through. So that's very, very important, okay? So go ahead, take a screenshot of your screen if you want to, and then we're going to go ahead and continue with the lesson, okay? for your independent assignment right now, okay? So you guys are going to go ahead and go into Google Classroom again, and you will see some slides and an assignment that I put up, okay? So go ahead and complete your assignment. then you're going to submit it, okay? Submit, read, post that you're done, okay? So this is something different than your answer. Post that you're done. And the reason why we're doing it like this is because um, I would like to just know exactly what time you go to lunch, okay? So post that you're done for lunch, and be ready to sign in for class, okay? That's at 1.15, okay? So, and you guys have a live session at 1.15, so make sure that you are all ready for class. So go ahead and take a screenshot of this. I am going to leave this up for a few minutes, and I will see you guys again tomorrow, okay? So go ahead and get your Google, si your Google Classroom assignment done, and I will talk with you guys tomorrow, okay? Thanks for tuning into our class. See you tomorrow.